Hi friends again. I think you might have seen one of my earlier videos on why obesity is a disease and how obesity requires a multidisciplinary management. In the various treatment options, this video will be focused on the endoscopic bariatric procedure which is getting very popular around the world and how it might be useful for somebody who is suffering from obesity. First of all, many of you might be aware that there is something called uh, bariatric surgery that is a laparoscopic surgery done for the treatment of obesity and of course associated comorbidities like diabetes, hypertension, cholesterol problems, knee pain, joint pain, lens problems etc. But then yes, surgery is a surgery we, which needs to be done, I mean 25 or 30 years back it was done by open approach, now it's done laparoscopically but still it's a surgery. But now for many patients you may not require a surgery as such. Let's say for example those between BMIs of 27 to 35 which is in the overweights to grade 1 obesity uh, who find it difficult to lose weight by non-surgical means but at the same time bariatric surgery might be too much. So what do we do about it? So, and then there are some set of patients who for all reasons do not want a bariatric surgery. Oh no, anything is okay but not a surgery. And there are some patients who are eligible and who want it but they may not be fit enough to undergo a surgical procedure for various medical conditions. So it is at this stages we have certain endoscopic procedures called intragastric balloon wherein a saline and an air filled balloon is actually inserted endoscopically into the stomach so it occupies a significant space in the stomach so that it reduces your appetite for food and your overall capacity that you can eat. So you feel full which means what we call satiety much sooner so you feel full. In this there are adjustable kinds of balloons called spot 3 balloons, there are non-adjustable balloons called the Orbera balloons and recently FDA has approved two balloons called the reshaped balloon which is have to be available in most countries but then it's recently been approved also. Then there is another very interesting procedure called the endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty. Basically sleeve gastrectomy means where we do laparoscopic and remove a significant portion of the stomach but then that requires surgery and removal of the stomach. But in endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty there are specialized suturing devices called a pillow over stitch which can be inserted through the mouth using an endoscope and we can stitch the stomach from inside just like by stitching it so the stomach gets inverted and it becomes smaller and smaller and smaller just like what you do in a sleeve gastrectomy but then where you do an operation and you remove and you don't do an operation and you don't remove which is technically reversible by stitching the stomach using the specialized equipment so that the stomach is made narrower similar to a sleeve gastrectomy so this because of this new device that's available has become very uh, so quite popular a device of course very few centers do have the equipment and who are trained enough to do it and in gem hospital we are probably one of the very few centers in the country who have this device and we've been using it on patients especially as i told you for patients who may not need a bariatric or who do not want a bariatric or probably are unfit for a bariatric surgical procedure these endoscopic therapies are a significant bridge or a strong bridge between lifestyle modifications on one end and bariatric surgery on the other end for any further questions, you can write down to the email below and we'll be happy to help you.